Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you how to use Calendly and connect it through Google Ads and Google Analytics. It's 2021, it's February, and I'm gonna show you how to tap into, um, use Google Ads and use this as a conversion. So how do you use Calendly as a conversion within Google Ads? Because if you set this up correctly, remember that when you do conversion-based ads in Google Ads and Bing Ads, you'll be able to unlock machine learning, which really allows you to um, have a continuously improving ad campaign. So this is perfect for search. This is perfect for display, whatever type of campaign you're doing. But again, hooking up Calendly to Google ads in 2021 and using Calendly as a conversion. We're going to use uh, Google Analytics to do this as well. So we're going to jump right in. The first thing, once you've got Calendly set up, what you need to know is that you should um, come to the integrations tab here. And once you get to integrations, I'm going to invite you to come down to Google Analytics. Now this is assuming that you have Google Analytics set up already. If you do not have Google Analytics set up, um, we'll have another video for that, but basically go to analytics.google.com. And if you have a uh, WordPress site, there's a site kit that you can use, a Google site kit, that would be the plugin. So if, you, if you're in WordPress, go to plugins, go to um, Google Analytics or Google site kit, install that and you can connect everything. But that's a whole other video. Let's just assume that you have Google Analytics set up. Now, a couple of things that you'll wanna do is once you get into your actual account, you'll come over here to the admin tab. And once you're in ad, uh, admin, what I'm gonna do is hit property settings and I'm gonna grab this UA um, number here. So this number is something that we're gonna need. It's called the tracking ID. So this number, I'm gonna copy that and, and come over to Calendly. And again, if I go to inter integrations and I find Google Analytics, I click on it, I'm gonna be able to manage this integration and I can paste that in there. All right, so once that's there, here's some stuff that you need to know. Um, Google Analytics is now connected to Calendly. And as Calendly, um, as you have some things happen, um, Calendly is going to actually fire some different events. In fact, I can even show you this right now. Um, let me head over to now the events are basically getting shot over to analytics. And this is probably important to know that there's two types of uh, kind of things that happening in Google Analytics. First off, you have these events, right? And uh, when we come over here, we have real time. Otherwise we have behavior. So real time is stuff that's happening instantaneously. And if I go down to events here, um, what you'll see is that this is showing the events for my site. Now I have pretty much nothing going on, but let me show you something real quick. Let me grab, I believe, um, the initial consultation is the one I think I have set up. And if I open an incognito window and I paste that in there, um, what will happen here is I believe this will be firing some analytics. Yeah, so what you'll see here is Calendly, just by me coming here, I got to this, uh, you have the event category and that's just the way that it labels it, folks. So analytics is taking this event from Calendly and there's about four or five different events. There's actually people landing on that page that I just showed you. Um, there are other things that uh, what we're looking for though is we wanna use the event once you actually book. So let's just do an example here. I'm gonna waste my own time. I'm gonna confirm this. Um, now, if you do the pro, you'll be able to come in and put a whole bunch of information in here. Um, put in phone numbers, what's top of mind, website, all this crap. <laughs> I ask lots so that I can understand what's going on um, with my customers. And then once we get that, uh, we'll zoom out a little bit. I think I have too much. Oh, let's get this in here. So again, um, <laughs> that's funny. Once I hit confirm, what it'll do is it'll bring me to this confirmation page. So confirmed and it's redirecting. Now, if you look here, um, another event would have popped up. So this is really what I want to show you folks. So there was a series of um, of events that fired in Google Analytics. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these Google Analytics and shove them over into Google Ads. But first we have to identify which ones actually matter to you. So as you look here, you have these event categories. They're all from Calendly and then event action. And I'll just cut to the chase. This invitee meeting scheduled is the one that kicks when it's actually been finalized. Otherwise, if you hit this page, this is an event that said somebody got to my page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna copy this event action. I'm gonna copy that exact word. And remember that in events, 
category and action, and then there's also a label, are just uh, basically they're, they're ways that you label this event, okay? So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this gear icon, and I'm going to take that event, and I'm going to create a goal out of it. So once I hit the gear over here, you'll see goals. And what you'll see now, I've already done this, so <laughs> um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit new goal, and uh, there's a couple options here. I'm just going to choose custom. Um, so it, it has these templates. These are all different, folks. If you didn't know something, Google, Facebook, all of these, have they look different to different people. So it's hard to get directions. But I'm going to say, hey, this is custom. I'm going to hit new. And then I'm going to I'm going to call this a goal so that I understand. Calendly uh, booked, right? And then what I'm going to do is just leave this goal ID. You only have a certain number of goals. And the difference between event and goals are... Goals are basically going to show up in conversions on here. There's actually a conversion tab. Um, events don't show up that way, so it gets a little bit easier for you to understand what's happening on the site. And then the second thing is, is we can send goals from analytics over to Google Ads very easily. So now what I'm saying is this goal, how is it going to get triggered? It could be that a destination would, was reached or somebody sat on a page for a certain amount of time or a certain number of uh, pages per session. But what I'm going to do is, hey, when this event occurs, because right now when Calendly fires, it's creating this event. Now I'm going to say for that, for an event, I'd like to trigger it. So uh, hit next. And now we could either put a category, but that would be too broad. If we put Calendly in there, that would, that would fire w whatever you put in here. If I were to put a category or a, an action or a label, um, whenever that is a Occurring, it will fire this goal. Well, all I want is when I'm going to paste that name in. Again, go grab that name precisely, and it's invitee underscore meeting underscore schedule. Um, so basically, whenever that event is fired, it's going to fire this goal. If I scroll down a little bit and say verify this goal, um, it'll say that you'd have zero conversions. I've seen that that hardly ever works. It never really shows unless you have a ton of data. Uh, so then hit save. Um, now, what you'll see is that we have this Calendly booked event, okay? Um, now, I would encourage you to open up an incognito tab in or some other tab and jump through it and see if it actually worked. Now, uh, when you come over here, remember, when you have real time, you have events, and the events are a little bit different than conversions, okay? So conversions, boom, I have a conversion because I had already hooked that up. Um, again, now... Here's the next stage that you want to do is come into your, your gear icon down here. And what you're going to do is make sure that you've got Google Ads linking set up. Okay. Um, in your Google Ads account, you'll be able to go up to tools. So let's just assume you have this already tools. And then we're going to go to linked accounts once you're in here. And once you've got that, hit details here to the Google An Analytics or Google UA. And then you'll be able to go down there and find yours and hit link. Okay, once that's all done, you're one step closer, okay? So the last thing that I want to do, well, almost last thing is, let's add that in as a conversion. So now I'm going to hit this gear icon, and I'm going to go to conversions, and I'm going to hit plus, and I'm going to go to import. And what I can do is I'm going to say from my Google Analytics, so import Google Analytics, hit continue, and essentially what you'll be able to do is select that and say import and continue. And now suddenly that will be a, a conversion that can be attached to a campaign. Again, last little step, whenever you're creating a campaign, do campaigns for conversions. When you do that um, over time, as it gets more and more conversion data, Google will start to learn um, who are the types of people that tend to convert, right? Tend to do that behavior. Uh, another quick step that I would do here, folks, uh, is always use phone calls as a conversion too, right? So now I don't drive phone calls because I don't want my <laughs> I don't want my stuff blowing up here. But if you ever wanted to, if you notice when you hover over my phone here, um, I have a link here, and if I go copy link, what I do is I put the phone number in there as a hyperlink, and then the hyperlink that I do is I do T E L colon plus one and then my phone number with no dashes so that's a an actual link that you would click then what i'll do is i'll come over to google um, tag manager and i create a trigger for that that's another video that we'll release but 
Uh, that's how you set up Calendly in 2021 to uh, work in Google Ads and then also in Google Analytics, um, Google Ads through Analytics. Good luck. God bless. I hope that helps you out.